What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Twine. Today, today, today. Hey, yo, skirt, skirt, man. Check this out. All right, guys, we got a video today. Uh, it's called Habib's Beautiful Response Got His Fan's Heart. All right, let's get to it. Now, remember, this is your first time on the channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Wutwa family. Also, before we get started, start it. Put a like on this video. Remember, if you got a video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section. Post the link, and I will get to it, man. Let's go ahead and check this video out. Wutwa! <laughs> Focus. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you are well. Fight fans are on pins and needles, wondering if April's highly anticipated UFC 249 main event between Habib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson will happen. The lightweight title fight was initially booked for April 18 in Brooklyn. However, due to the recent COVID-19 outbreak, the UFC was forced to change the event location last minute and have still yet formally announced the new venue. With that said, UFC President Dana White has assured fans that Habib Nurmagomedov will fight Tony Ferguson as planned on April 18. Well, that is all well and good, a new problem has developed that could potentially bury the lightweight title fight for good. As first reported by RTCOM, Russia is set to ban all cross-border travel due to the virus pandemic. The cross-border travel ban is stated to be implemented in Russia on March 30, 2020. However, official announcement of fight cancellation has not been done yet. The undefeated Dagestani fighter Habib is a devout Muslim and wears his religion on his sleeve during his public appearances. In April 2018, Nomagomedo explained that there is nothing else more important to me than being clear with Allah and being clear with Allah is the number one most hard thing in life. Habib has always been respectful to his opponents. Earlier he also said that he wanted to be a good example to others. He has always portrayed himself gracefully whether it has been in the cage, outside the cage or even when he receives disrespect. In the official UFC press conference being questioned about Habib, Tony Ferguson trash talked about Habib this guy is one of the best in the world and uh, and when i watch my legacy in lightweight division i think hey i have to fight with tony ferguson you know if i want to become greatest lightweight ever i have to beat this guy that's why i'm here you know sign up to fight a hit man i'm a contract killer in that <laughs> now i got a worthy opponent i'm gonna stop you from <laughs> leaving that cage or jumping over it tony insulted him and was boastful of himself on the other hand, in a recent interview, Habib was asked provoking questions against Tony Ferguson, but he answered those questions in a way no other fighter could have answered, the Habib way. We saw how Tony acted at the press conference yesterday. There are some people that are saying maybe he's doing this to promote, but other people are saying maybe he has some mental problems and there's something wrong with him. May I ask, uh, which do you think it is? Honestly, you know, it's like nothing personal here. I don't want to talk about his problem, like family stuff, mental stuff, like this is his problem, you know, leave him alone, you know. I don't want to talk about him, about his problem, because like everybody sit here, everybody has problems, you know, it's like nobody safe, you know. If he need help, you have to help him, but we're going to fight next, fight next month. I don't want to think about him, he's my opponent, you know. Talk about his mental problem, I don't think it's like good stuff talk about his mental problem, I don't think it's like good stuff. Masha Allah, this makes many of us proud to see such a personality be so humble and not talk filth about others even when instigated. Rather, he tells the reporter to leave him alone. Brother sisters, these little signs of generosity are huge signs of a great character. Habib has a huge fan following due to his tremendous fighting skills and his modest nature. Many Muslims love Habib's character and regard him to be their role model. Habib undeniably shows us the ability to remain calm under pressure, yet not forgetting that how much ever wealthy or famous he might get, he will always bend his head in front of the Almighty. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us good character to see the good in people, to see and talk less of hate against people who talk bad of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nourish us with love, brotherhood and peace among our brothers and sisters. Amen. Until next time, brothers and sisters, take every day as a chance to become a better Muslim. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, bro.
<clears throat> Yo, with our family, get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the video. Also, if you got video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section. Post the link and I will get to it. Guys, Habib is basically on the road to becoming one of the greatest fighters of all time. Of all time. And I want to say Habib is on the way of becoming the one of the greatest athletes of all time. Um, character like this is one thing that a lot of people have a very difficult time trying to break. It is hard to throw a bunch of negativity at someone and for someone not to throw it back. Because the people that throw negativity at you want to receive it back. Why? Because they want to feel that back. You know what I'm saying? They want to get a reaction out of you in the sense of what they're giving. But if you act in the way of how Habib acts, that breaks the that breaks the other person down mentally. Like, wow, you know. And I I really admire the way that this guy Habib carries himself. You know, someone to be so successful like him, but to be so humble, be so humble. That lets you know that there are good people in this world. And we have to protect them and support them. And when you find out who they are, you have to try your best to stay with them and continue to push them and to continue to uplift them. And also you as well, uplift the people around you. Inspire people to do better. That's what this is about, man. That's what this is about. And the more and more I watch this athlete, Habib, the more and more I learn how to be a better Muslim, man. It's your boy, Mr. Watois, man. Get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the video. Also, if you got video you want to react to, get down in the comment section. Post the link and I will get to it. Also, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Watois family. Also, before you leave the channel, put a like on this video. And guys, I will see you tomorrow, inshallah. So please take care. Stay safe. Watois!